You're listening to the KB Podcast Network. You're listening to Supernatural Living with your host, Beth Packard. I would like to remind you that you can subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Please rate and review so that we can get this uh, podcast out to more people and share with your friends. Go to Supernatural Living with Beth Packard on Facebook and share this broadcast from there to your timeline. That would be amazing. We would love to get it into the hands of more and more people and let people get inspired by the Word of God. I'm so excited to share with you today about my very challenging week, actually. I've had a couple of challenging weeks. Um, The last time we were together, I was sharing about the travailing intercession and the transition that was taking place in our ministry and just in our lives in general. And so go figure that along with that, there's going to be some uh, travailing, in fact, and there's going to be some uh, opportunities to grow weary in doing good. But I just want to encourage you that even when you feel run down, when you feel like the devil is just throwing everything at you, that we serve a king who is so much mightier and so much stronger. And he has given us all the tools that we need. And today I'm going to share with you a couple of the tools that I've had to just read over and over again and just speak to myself to encourage myself. Because, you know, it's funny as a uh, speaker, as a person who gets, has a platform where I encourage others, you know, when when I am lacking in my own inspiration and my own encouragement, there's no better place for me to go than to the word. And so I just want to share with you a little bit that I read and that the Lord was speaking to me and let you know that I literally cried almost all of yesterday. And today I just little things that shouldn't be bothering me, little Little things that um, I shouldn't let get under my skin have been able to get under my skin, and that's not okay. It's really not okay. It's normal, and and it happens, and I want to be vulnerable and share that. It totally happens with everybody. However, like that's not what God's created for us. He's created so much more for us, and so I just want to share. I'm going to share out of 2 Corinthians Just the last little part of chapter three in verse 16, it says the moment one turns to the Lord with an open heart, the veil is lifted and they see. Now, the Lord that I'm referring to is the Holy Spirit and wherever he is, there is freedom. Verse 18, we can all draw close to him with the veil removed from our faces And with no veil, we all become like mirrors who brightly reflect the glory of the Lord Jesus. We are being transfigured into the very image as we move from one brighter level of glory to another. And this glorious transfiguration comes from the Lord, who is the Holy Spirit. So we are being transfigured into his very image every day. Everything that we do, that we um, spend time in his presence as we grow closer to him, we're actually being transfigured, it says, into his very image. And we get to move from glory to glory and look more and more like him. And I love, it goes on into chapter four, and it says, because of God's mercy, it is because of God's mercy that we have been entrusted with the privilege of this new covenant ministry, and we will not quit or faint with weariness. I'm going to skip ahead to verse 7, and it says, We are like common clay jars that carry this glorious treasure within, so that the extraordinary overflow of power will be seen as God's and not ours. Though we may experience every kind of pressure, We are not crushed. At times we don't know what to do, but quitting is not an option. Verse 9. We are persecuted by others, but God has not forsaken us. 
We may be knocked down, but we are not out. Wow. Down at verse um, 13, it says, so we also first believe and then we speak in faith. We do this because we are convinced that he who raised Jesus will raise us up with him and together we will all be brought into his presence. Yes, all things work for your enrichment so that more of God's marvelous grace will spread to more and more people, resulting in an even greater increase of praise to our God, bringing him even more glory. So no wonder, this is verse 16, so no wonder we don't give up, for even though our outer person gradually wears out, our inner being is being renewed every single day. We do not focus our attention on what is seen, but on what is unseen, for that which is seen is temporary, but the unseen realm is eternal. I listened to this last night and I was just so encouraged by it. And I thought I've got to just share this. And I know somebody out there listening is just going through, they're going through the muck and the mire right now and they're frustrated and they don't know where to turn and they don't know what to do. But i just want to encourage you that as believers, as uh, children of God, as those who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit, we actually fall into a category, a a set apart group of people who filled with the Holy Spirit are anointed to do mighty works. I love in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says, Jesus of Nazareth was anointed by God and with the Holy Spirit and with great power. He did wonderful things for others and divinely healed all who were under the tyranny of the devil for God had anointed him. And to me that, that verse just shares, it it says so much. It says that because Jesus was anointed by God with the Holy spirit, he was given great power. That's actually like a dunamis power, a crazy, all powerful power. And he was able to heal all who were under the tyranny of the devil all it says, because God had anointed him. And I want to read another one of my favorite scriptures. And we were listening to a teaching last night from a great friend of ours. And she talks about how when you're needing a pep talk, when you're needing to be encouraged, um, she listened to, I can't remember who it was that she said that she learned this from, but I love how that just gets passed down. Like one person learns something from the Lord and it It doesn't become someone's uh, protocol, but it just, we forget who it was we learned it from. But the basis of it is that we're growing closer to the Lord and he's getting the glory for it. And so what he said was that he would pump himself up, get jacked up by reciting and putting himself in the position of um, Isaiah 61. And he would declare that over himself. And this is Jesus speaking And it says, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Strangers will shepherd your flocks and foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. And you will be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of the nations and in their riches you will boast. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. It goes on. There's 11 verses there, but I just want to encourage you. I thought that was so profound when she, she spoke that and just said before he would get up and he would minister before he would share or do something really scary. 
he would pull out Isaiah 61 and he would just recite that over himself and he would speak it over himself. And I have always loved that scripture, that whole chapter. And I'm sure some of you, that's a favorite of yours as well. And so I just want to encourage you if you've been having some struggles, if you're frustrated, if things just aren't going exactly like you want them to go and things are coming against you just to just sit and rest with the Lord. Um, just be still with him, be still with him, realign, get a, get a higher perspective and just remember that we are called according to his purposes and that he's going to turn things for our good. He's going to make all the crooked paths straight. There's so many verses in the Bible that encourage and edify us, help us to remember that all his promises are true. He's not one that lies. He's not one that's going to back down on stuff that he's promised to us. And our only job is to stay focused on him, stay focused on those promises, stay focused on the word and to just love him, to praise him through those things. If you're struggling, I encourage you to just praise him through it and not to focus, not to continually focus on on what's going on. Um, for me, sometimes I just need to get a good cry out and I get it out and that takes care of it. I know I've shared that with you guys before and, uh, that seems to help me. And then I just repent for being a big crybaby and dealing with my emotions the way that I did. And I just let the Lord just take that burden, like hand it over to him, release it to him and let him deal with it. And he's always so gracious to do that. And I believe that he will do that for you. So father, I just pray over every listener. If they're struggling or going through something right now, an, a prayer that hasn't been answered, um, they're waiting in the middle of trials or tribulations. Lord, I just thank you that you will meet them where they're at, that they will surrender to you, that they will fall down on their face before you, Lord, and they will hand those burdens over to you. So just as a prophetic act, just release them. Hold your hands out right now, wherever you're at. Just release them to the Lord. Just hand them to him and let his presence just wash over you. Holy Spirit, we just ask you to come and just wash over, wash over each listener. Just release that stuff from them right now in Jesus name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the work that you're doing in and through your people. We thank you for your gracious love for us. We thank you that you have anointed us to preach the gospel, that you have anointed us to run and not grow weary. We just thank you that your ways are higher than our ways, and we thank you for that higher perspective in our situations that we're going through right now. In Jesus' name. Friends, I hope you're super blessed. I hope that if you are struggling through some things that this blesses you, that it it helps you to release those burdens to the Lord. I am enjoying, I have heard from many of you. I would love to hear some feedback from more of you. Simple message on Facebook would be great. Just let me know that you're listening. Let me know that it's encouraging. Let me know what you want to hear about in the future. Um, how I can help you, what needs you have that I can reach. If you are blessed again, please share this, share the podcast with friends, visit my Facebook page at Supernatural Living with Beth Packard and my website at bethpackard.com for more information. I love you guys so much and I hope that you have an amazingly blessed week and we will talk soon. 